I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're playing Little Miss Fortune. I am so excited to start this one for you guys today because I've been waiting to play this for quite a while. Um, actually, I was just waiting to get it on sale because I'm broke. But uh, anyway, if you're new to the channel, hi. My name is Katie, and I play a lot of horror games on this channel. I know this doesn't look like a horror game. Um, it might not be because I've never actually played it before, but it got really good reviews and I think it's in like the indie horror genre. So we're gonna see. You guys actually voted for this game. Uh, at least some of you did. I put a little poll on my community page on my YouTube channel, um, just voting for a short little game that we could play in between Alan Wake 2, which I am currently playing right now and taking a long time. I know, okay, we're doing it. We're gonna finish it. Um, but I just wanted something short and fun to play for you guys in the meantime, and this one won. So, this is all your fault. Alright, new game. Alright. These animations are really cute. It was that. All right. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh? You can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm... Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. What? Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so a sketchy voice just tells us to leave the house and Miss Fortune was like, okay, that's fine. Um, so initial thoughts, <laughs> this game is really cute so far. I love her little voice. She's the cutest voice ever. Um, 
We got fucking the narrator from the Hundred Acre Wood with Winnie the Pooh narrating this game, I guess. Uh, we got a fox with a wagon who was like hanging out with death and then entered a portal. And he's probably in our world now, so he's probably just going to show up outside. Oh wait, shit, look! There's a literal fox right here, so that means she's seen him before. What does that say? Alright, I will click on things. I just, um... Yeah, initial thoughts. It is, uh, kind of creepy, but really interesting. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can click on stuff. Okay. Left mouse button, interact. I am... Oh, wait. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly, and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Kimberly and Steven, okay. Um, oh wait, so I can click stuff here. So it looks like I have to get close to the item before this little eyeball pops up. So I could probably click on way more stuff, so let's see. What's this? <laughs> My glitter. Cool. Oh, did I pick it up? Click on Misfortune to throw glitter? Why do I want to do that? <laughs> Um, alright, hold on, let's see. I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Good for you, girl. Good for you. I thought there was a monster, like, in the bathtub during my whole childhood, so... I never gave it the finger, though. Um, can I... Oh, wait. Ah! Right here. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. Oh, shit! Break it down, Miss Fortune! Okay, this face? I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, okay. Fox? Benjamin? Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh. I don't care much for foxes. Hmm. Sounds like this narrator doesn't like the fox guy. Why could that be? Also, is the narrator leading us to our death? He's like, oh, like, she's gonna die today. The next thing she does is leave the house. So is the narrator death? Um, and why doesn't he like the fox? Interesting. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> That's how I felt about video games when I was younger. I loved playing games because it would take me away from what was really happening in my shitty life. This is Bobsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? Okay. Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez. I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. Cute, so we got unicorns, a person, this blue blobby thing. I like to play with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. Hello, diary. At school, I drew, and at home, I was at my hiding spot, talking to Bubsy, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. Benjamin. That's weird. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Why doesn't he like him? <laughs> what do you have against the fox, narrator? Hello, diary. My dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cried, but mommy, to but told mommy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Oh, shit. Sometimes, I don't know how to feel. Nobody is teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they'd teach us where feelings come from. But for reals, no fairy tales. Oh, yikes forever. I can't click on anything else. Benjamin? Why do you love Benjamin so much? Hello, diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? 
Um, no, not really. <laughs> they puke of love. That's what it is. That's disgusting. Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside, and we looked at each other, and my heart felt warm. And like if I was about to vomit, but in a good way. Then he ran away, because my mommy shouted that dinner was ready. Okay. Oh, fuck! Hello, diary. My daddy hit mommy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me, too, when he hits mommy. I promise I'll never be like my daddy. I played today that it took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. I like sushi, too. Who the hell are you? Hero. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing. But I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. His name is Hero, and he's a ghost? I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. Okay, so he's a cowboy who's Japanese with an alien face. Glitter. I love my glitter. Hello, diary. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny, and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe in Santa. I don't believe Santa is for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa is real. But the glitter is amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sprinkled with sparkle to look prettier. That makes me a little less sad. Okay, so we did actually pick up some glitter. I don't know how to, um, go into, like, my inventory. Glitter. I oh. love my glitter. Alright, I'm just pressing buttons. I don't know how to find my inventory, but I'm sure I have one. Because I picked up the glitter. Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with grandma. It smelled so nice. I saw butterflies, some other insects too. I ate two tomatoes, and then I was stuffed. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did a coloring too. Impressive. I love her so much, she's so cute. Hello, diary. I was riding my tricycle. We don't have money for the bicycle, and I look straight in the sun. Okay. And I started crying because it hurt my eyes. My mommy said that no one should look directly at it. Okay, who else uh, did not get to see the eclipse because it was way too cloudy? I tried, but it was too cloudy. Hello, diary. It was fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my bottom. You felt like warm water came- Did you pee? Hello, diary. How are you? I'm good, too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good picture. I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. The cake looks yummy. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. <gasps> yes, you are. She's such a little lady. Halloween costume ideas. Little lady fox. Okay, now you're just... You're creepy. You're just a creepy little lady. <laughs> Those fucking eyes. Okay. I love my coloring book. What to do with the coloring book? Take the coloring book with you. Leave coloring book for Bubsy. For this guy? This game has choices? I I love how okay, so the the idea would be to take it with me, right? But I almost feel like, what's gonna happen to Bubsy if he doesn't have this coloring book? What? He's gonna need it. He's gonna need to color things while I'm gone. I'm gonna leave it for Bubsy. I don't know who Bubsy is, but... He looks like he needs it. He's like, almost missing an eye, so... You can have it. Nah, I'll just leave it here. For Bubsy, you know? The toddy. Okay. Sure. I hope that wasn't a bad choice, but, like, I don't need to be coloring. I'm on an adventure for eternal happiness. Uh... Wait, can I- do I have an inventory or what? I saw a monster and I no. showed it the thing. Do I have an inventory? 
I don't know. Oh wait, didn't it say something? It said uh, to click on her. Oh, click on her to sprinkle glitter. Yeah, yeah. Let's sprinkle some over here. Okay. Ooh, can I sprinkle some on Bubsy? <laughs> I'm never gonna leave this room, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work now. I can't click on her. Anyway, well now we know how to sprinkle the glitter. Um, let's keep going. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... Unicorn Stone? What? Oh, this thing? Unicorn. So Unicorn's got a sharp-ass horn, I could probably stab somebody with it. The stone, I could probably bludgeon someone in the head with it. We're going with rock. <laughs> I choose the stone daddy threw at me once. Interesting choice. Is yeah, that blood? I call him Stony because he's a stone. Get it? <laughs> Stony the stone. That's very clever. Thank you. Ugh. I regret my choice. Ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you, okay. on the other side of the screen. Uh -uh. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? No, I don't trust you. Oh, there goes Benjamin. Why should I trust fucking this random narrator? Also, what can I do stuff with the rock that I have? Do I have an inventory now? Oh. I'm never gonna <laughs> make progress. I don't know how to take the rock out, but that's creepy. This is Grandma. She wears a diaper, too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> how old are you? Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No. But I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Mm. What am I supposed to sprinkle this on? Double click to run. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please don't fall down. Oh no. Why would the game Damn Why would the game it's do all this? Broken now. Damn it. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, no, we can't. Thank you. Mm -hmm, Mr. Keep Secrets. Hmm. Maybe I could try to fix it. Okay, glitter sprinkle. Oh, fix the broken base. Leave it as it is. We could try to fix it, but it's shattered. No one's gonna believe us. Leave it. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> She is a little lady, isn't she? Leave some sparkle so they know it was us. Okay. Mommy said she married daddy because she was expecting me. She wanted to have an abortion, but it's illegal and against the law. That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> yes. Why did she tell you that? That's not right. Got a nice pack of cigs over here. Is this my childhood? Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile, even when I'm sad. Okay. Oh, look at how she runs! Look at that little jig she doing! Okay, My daddy's just... friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died, and <laughs> she was so sad. <laughs> Uh, that's sad. What? Okay, we got this door here. Hold on. Let me do my little jig this way. 
Okay, I can't go any further, so... I guess we are going... Out this door. I am very curious about these choices. Like, should I have tried to fix the vase? Should I have brought the coloring book? I don't know. Um, but since there's multiple choices, this is, this is a pretty short game, we might be actually be able to uh, play again. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's we my got mommy. characters. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Okay, so I didn't fix the vase because I didn't know there was actual parents in this house. Um, so I'm a little worried she's gonna beat my ass. What's this? Uh, uh dead rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Alright. I'm gonna close that. Oh! <laughs> Heart crew two times that day. What is it? <laughs> and his heart grew three sizes that day. Uh why would I throw glitter though? Does it um does it do anything? I don't know. Okay. Ew. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animal. That's what it is. Yikes forever. We got the bow tie pasta though. I mean she she doing something. Alright. Lots of cigs. We had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk and daddy actually said hi to me. This is really sad. Hi. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy. A juice drinker. Um, I mean, juice isn't so bad, but, uh, in moderation, of course, of course. Oh, I can sprinkle on her. That sounded weird. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that's- oh, I don't know what that's doing to my heart, but it's- it's growing that's or something. Today. October 11th. Okay, bye, Mom. Tell Mommy you're leaving. Yeah, yeah. I'm going out to play, Mommy! She seems like she cares. Good day, morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. Close enough. <laughs> okay. We're outside, we got crows. That's not a good sign, probably. Remember Benjamin the fox? This I is do. where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you <laughs> told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust the fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. What? Her <laughs> voice is so cute. I can't get over it. This pool smells like a toilet, <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Yeah, that's let's, disgusting uh... as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> Alright, let's keep all this to ourselves. Um, hold on, let me just look over here. I can't, can't go any further. Okay. Just wanna double check. Oh, the car, we can sprinkle the car. This is where Daddy often sleeps. Is he there now? Daddy? Cute. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I'm supposed to sprinkle on all of these things, like if I don't, if that would affect the game or not. Kitty cat. Hello, kitty. Here, come, come, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty! <laughs> kitty, don't go! Damn it, I never get to pet the sweet animals. 
Watch your so, profanity. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. I'm scared. What monster? I didn't see any- It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> this is sketchy. He just made me walk into some weird cursed ass fucking road thing. Also, I, I can't- I apparently can't walk while the narrator's talking because I'll skip the dialogue accidentally, so. What happened to you? Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going, I guess. I don't trust this narrator at all. Look at this little intro. What the heck? Interactive story. So I guess the creators of this game also made, um, what's that, what's that other one? Oh, I can't think of it. You guys suggested it. You're like, if you play Little Misfortune, you have to play this game too. And it's not coming to me right now. But, um, if it's anything like this, then we'll play it. If I can figure out what it was called again. <laughs> uh, I used a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Uh, Fran Bo. Yes. I guess the creators of this game also made Franbo, which is kind of the same thing. It's a point-and-click horror adventure. Um, so if you enjoy this, leave a like, let me know, and maybe we'll play that one too. Um, same thing, I think also Sally Face uh, is another one like this. Look, Oh, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. Play with it, set it free. Well, I'm not gonna set it free. For one, it's not my fucking dog. And also, there's a busy road over here. Um, but if I play with it, is it gonna bite me? He looked like he got the devil in his eyes. Let's play with it. I will play with it, so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now, throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. I okay, thought he was talking about the rock I brought with me. I was about to freak out. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Puppy! What did I do? It's all broken now, Mr. Voice. Everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair, but I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. 
I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. You know, I think the game set us up for that one. Because if we set that dog free, he would have just went running into the road. I bet. <sighs> Red dog puppy killer. <laughs> You're the puppy killer. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. <sighs> okay. Where are my items going? I wish I could look at them. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later. You know, when I'm broken too. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. I don't know what that says. It says, no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Oh, you wanna watch out for the dog shit? Oh, come on. Oh, I step on doogie doo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. <laughs> okay. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> Please, let's keep moving. Okay, let's keep going. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess it saves every time I move forward into the game. Um, I don't know, something about recycling. So, Miss oh. Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Uh-huh. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. That's scary. There's a plastic bag right there. Uh, ah! The hell? <laughs> she, she's uh, over it. What's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. Kick them in the balls. Throw glitter at the birds. Throw them. Throw the glitter. Do birds have balls? Okay. My glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. Alright, here I go. Glitter attack! Great. Did I break my legs? Uh... <laughs> Taking a long time. <laughs> I didn't even go that high up. Well, <laughs> time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? What the fuck hey, is look, going a on? Birdie. Hello, birdie. It's like Alice in uh, Wonderland. That was a rude bird. Why didn't I break my legs and die? I don't know. Mm, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About no. the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Will you tell George about the puppy accident? Do we have to? Like, I don't, I don't even... Do we even have to go see George? 
No. Let's not tell him. I don't want to ruin his birthday. I don't want to get in trouble. Or ruin really his birthday. I want to dance at the party. All yeah. Right, then. Yeah, he'll find his dog later. Someone oh, else did look. it. A boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. I'm probably making all the bad choices, and I'm sorry if you guys are screaming at me in the comments. Oh. Ah, a fish. What should we do about it? Release it. Bring it with you. <laughs> yeah, I killed your dog. Do you want this fish? Let's release it. I would like to return it. It smells fishy. Yeah. Oh, hi, fishy, fishy. I did a good thing. Maybe he'll help me out later in the game. Maybe. And here- I'm a bit nervous oh. about introducing myself. You'll do fine. Just don't mention the puppy like we discussed earlier. Yes, okay. I'll just dance. Okay. Sorry if I skip dialogue accidentally. Uh, it's just me trying to walk while he's talking. Oh shit, I should have brought him a fish. Knock or ring the bell? It's knock. Why does it matter? Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. Doesn't look like anybody's here. Um, what was this here? Okay, I thought there was something I could click on. Hello, dead fish. I saw a man was floating in the lake, just like this fish. Okay. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Very sorry for you. Oh? Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Okay. We're seeing ghosts. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Yeah, I don't think there's a party here. <gasps> Excuse me, are you George? I don't know anything about any puppy, but it was promised a party. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. I mean, you can't die in sweet boots. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. This bitch. <laughs> Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> okay. This is strange, man. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, since I can click that now, can I click? No, alright. What's this bird painting about? Freaking birds, thanks to them, I obviously came late to the party. <laughs> oh, what's this? I guess it's not finished. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Fix it. Look, I made you a doggy. <laughs> Not that you need one, but anyways. <laughs> okay. Imagine that's the last thing you paint. <laughs> then you kill yourself. Um, Wait, there's still glitter here, but I already glittered him, so... Okay, I don't think it goes away. Alright. Okay, Let's I'm here going. now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. Okay.
This game is so weird. Ah, oh, I love the woods with the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. But are all foxes evil? Or is the fact that she's, like, obsessed with this fox, like, that means she's evil? I mean, she is kind of creepy. I don't know, there's gotta be some reason she loves this fox. Alright, let's... Let's huh. run. What's this? Hello? I got an achievement. Hey doll number one. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. What's a jackdaw? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Okay, I'm keeping it a secret, I guess. What the Stay fuck? Back, Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Thought I was gonna die anyway. Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Does anybody really? Um, he doesn't like Benjamin. Benjamin's painting this shit. Is this supposed to protect me? Is this like protection? Or is this evil? Huh. <sighs> it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. Oh my God. We need to keep going. Oh, uh, okay. My goodness. Um, can't pick anything up, I guess. Police tape? Uh-oh, somebody died here. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Stay in the forest, bitch! He being creepy! I'll just stay in the forest. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Fine oh, by me! Okay. I don't- I don't want to die. My choice was to stay in the forest and I gotta freaking. I gotta go in? Oh, I did take it! Do I have to go inside? Enter the cave, stay in the forest. So I still have this choice. Okay. I'll just I'm... stay in the forest. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna run back. Um, I have a feeling the option to stay in the forest is just in case you didn't, uh, touch this, or you missed picking up the hay doll that was on the tree. That's what I'm guessing. I feel like it's just giving you the Why option. Are you going this way? Yes, curious. <laughs> or maybe something will happen. I, I don't know. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think it's just to give you the option being like, hey, we're about to go into a, uh, the next area where you can't turn back. Okay. Well, at least we tested it out. Ah, oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. I'm scared. This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. She is. Um, okay, can't pick up the stick or anything. Oh! What was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. The fuck was that? Stuart Little in his little race car? What's this? The hamster party? A magical <laughs> Live hamster nude hamsters? Party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Okay. Let's go find out. I love your little parka. Ugh, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? I kind of want to watch the fight, to be honest, but... And the violence between the hamsters? Let's be friends. Come on. Don't fight, you adorable things. You have to kiss and make up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go! You dropped something! You dropped your pills! Oh, are those means? Maybe I should try one, so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lazy, you know? No, that's alright. Oh! Wow, I'm feeling really nice. <laughs> I can't with this fucking game. And I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. I can't. <laughs> this fucking game is ridiculous. Oh, they make it out. Oh, wait, what's this? These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Excuse little me, drugs. Could a little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this time, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. I wanted to go see the live rat nudes. Or the hamster nudes with their little hamster titties. It's just not fair. Grandma? Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn Oops. it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look. 
macaron. Okay. Oh. Uh, what is this button? Actually, let me just run back and see if there's anything going on with the grandma. I wonder how far back I can go. If you can see anything else. See, this is why it takes me forever to play games. It's because I want to check everything. Oh no! It Ooh. looks like the entry is blocked. Yeah, I can see that. Now what? Hmm. There must be another way out. Let's look for it. Okay. Alright. See, if I didn't go back and waste our time, we wouldn't have seen that little cutscene. So, you know what? It's like... I... I do what I do. All right, well, let's see what this button's about. Oh, hold on. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another fancy. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's go. Climb the ladder, stay in the sewer. Let's just go. I think I've clicked on everything here. Stop! Why stop? <gasps> ah, this looks just like a movie I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. Thanks. Give me a fucking slingshot. Ah, look, I use these acres as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. Okay. Can I hit the gas? Oopsie! Oop. Oh. That was close. Oh, we don't have really good aim. Almost there! <laughs> Set up. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hit it? <laughs> I love how they don't really do anything, though. Oh, sorry. Oh. Just gotta get the right angle. Almost there! Oh. Fail. <laughs> There we go! <sighs> that was <laughs> painful. <laughs> Alright. We did it! Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. What's this? Squirrel spin? Hmm. <laughs> I love the way she talks. This looks like the science project daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but mommy was really angry about it. I bet. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Can't go that way. Stay in the sewer. I just wonder if there's anything I missed glittering or... I don't see it. Anything else I can click on? Hmm. All right. Missing. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. What? Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? 
No. Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. See, it doesn't really leave me at a spot where I feel like I could just end the video and then that's it, because it's it's constantly going on with the story and there's constantly things happening. Um, so I just genuinely wonder like how many little chapters there are. Should I just try to finish the whole game or is it actually like three to four hours long? <laughs> okay, so there is an option to manually save here, which I haven't done yet, so I am gonna do that just so I don't lose anything because I am a little nervous about ending the recording and then not be able to get my save back. Um, but I just, I do want to keep going. How long have I been recording? About an hour? Let's go a little further. Um, yeah. Let's keep going a little bit more. Look, a missing kid. Is that me? It's not me. We got the same eyes, though. Call 112. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. <sighs> don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> She's so gullible. Ooh, that guy was wearing a mask who just drove by. He's like, really? I love her voice. Hello. Oh. <gasps> okay. So that missing girl is dead. Ugh, smells like bullcrap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Phantasmagoria. Oh! Why is this person wearing a mask? <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> okay. No movies. Look, Benjamin, it's Benjamin from the hoods in the woods. <laughs> children, you know, hide your children. If you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? No, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Okay. The fox is saying, hide your children. The narrator is leading us to our death, basically. The narrator's the evil guy who is maybe killing children, possibly. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Yeah, and what about that penis we saw drawn back there? That was some good art, wasn't it? Okay, park and a kiosk is up here. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. What is with the masks? It's creepy. Slow oh. down, you fuck! This fortune. <laughs> what? Language. Ah, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Or ma'am, I can't tell. Sorry. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game? 
And got in the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. <laughs> Don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. Yeah, because the, the birds dying around me aren't suspicious. Okay. What, what's that? That's creepy looking. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. I mean, they're dying anyway. Might as well give them the last meal. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is a life and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. It's what do you sweet. think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really Some need condom? to read those poems? Yeah, yeah, let's read these bench poems. Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. Crabs is a... Uh... All right, let's go. What the look fuck? The seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stand behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. I don't think this drunk bird needs any fish. He seems fine. Yeah, he's okay. Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? I mean, not really, but I might as well. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. <laughs> Look at me. I'm on the horse. Ay, horsey, stop it. Oh. 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 That was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> this is going to be my comeback at all times. I'm such a little lady, you know. Sorry. Went a little too rough on the Check horse. Check that Let's just go. Miss Fortune, you don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be Why? silly. Ducks oh. are very cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This he's could be my the opportunity weed. to finally dance for reals. Would yeah. you like to show me some of your dance moves? Oh, hell yeah. Let the duck dance. Let us show our dance skills. Of course. Check this out. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, no. <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you <laughs> say so. <laughs> no, those are my best dance moves. Oh, shit. Hi, Ducky. Hmm. A little glitter for you. Bye. What's this thing? Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold it anymore! <laughs> oh no, misfortune. Sorry. <laughs> See, I feel like those choices don't really affect the game at all, so I feel okay doing that. 
I got another achievement. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. When the trees are naked, okay. when the smell of rotten... Alright, well. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Does he not see the dolls? I'm confused, because the last one, he was like, what do you have there? And she said nothing. Does he not know that they're there? Hi. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Obviously. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. See, he says stuff like that, and I don't know if the game's about to end or not. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go check it out. Is this over? Maybe the game is three hours because it's so, three hours I to get all the endings? So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. Alright. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? This bitch has definitely stolen some shit. She definitely has. Yes. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question, are you happy right now? I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm not like relatively all that happy, like bad things have been happening to me. Say no. Well, not really. Many things make me sad. That's why I want the prize so much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Aw, this is just therapy at this point. In her, her eyes, probably not. Nah, no, that's why I like my Stony so much. He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh, we got another missing kid up here. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Sure uh, we will. Okay, nice. Yeah, because I trust you. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. The All toilet? Right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's just take the... Death shovel. Alright, we got a heart. Oh, wait, I can look at it. Let's see. This one says Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Dig this grave? No. Nah. So I have the options to dig different graves? Okay, let's see. Little Lulu. The first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> okay, no. Nah, 
I don't think this is the fish. I wonder if I can just dig them all up and it won't affect the game, but I'm scared to. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Okay. Nah, this is obviously a cat. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. Okay. Nah, I don't Probably think not a so. fish. Um. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Okay, not that. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. My goodness, where is it? This one? It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. All right. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. I wonder, can I go back and dig this up now? Oh, no. All right, let me know in the comments, guys, if I do a second playthrough of this, um, if you can just dig in all of the graves, or if you can only choose one. Is this the prize? But there's only a Benjamin! Note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. Uh-oh. It didn't! My eternal happiness! I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Okay. <gasps> oh! Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. I don't think Benjamin stole anything. I think he planted this here, the narrator. Benjamin's a good boy. When unloved children- oh, she'll read it. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Okay. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. Okay, so the narrator can't see the dolls. I don't know why, but he can't. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Okay. Swiper, no swiping. Oh, I can. That's a door, I guess. Aha! There. Yeah. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? No. Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You no. sound very sure. I'll trust you. No. No. Keep going. We're gonna click on whatever this is. Fox went through this door. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Okay. Uh-oh. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. Oh, okay. So what does this say? The game of death is what beats the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? 
Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Okay, let's take it. Maybe we need this to, like, protect us from death or something? I don't know. Yeah, let's just jump down this hole! I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, yeah. It's a bad idea. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. Lickies. Hello? Mr. Oh, sorry. What was this? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Okay. Oh, uh, then I dropped it. What? Uh. What? I dropped it? Well, that's just mean. <laughs> Fox repellent? Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. What is this? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh. All right, let's go. Oh, there you are. Speak to me, Benjamin. What are you doing, Benjamin? Use the fire. No. Benjamin, I think he's what a good have guy. I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Excuse Maybe me? Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh, you talking shit. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin did attacked it. me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. All right, so we've been recording for about an hour and a half. I think this is a good spot to stop midway. Um, I was just trying to look up the chapters online to see if I was like halfway through, if I was towards the end, and I really couldn't find a chapter list, but I, I wasn't looking that hard because I didn't want to see any spoilers anyway. Um, but I think this is a good place to stop, and even if I do play the next video and the game ends, um, I can make, you know, the video longer by replaying and doing some of the choices that we didn't make in this video. So no matter what, there will be a full video after this, depending on how short or long this game is. Um, but let me know what you think. I'm really enjoying this. I think this is super fucking cute. Um, I love this little lady right here. I think she is great. She's really creepy and weird, but I love her. I don't trust the narrator at all. Please don't leave any spoilers in the comments, even though this seems like a very simple game. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it a lot. And, uh, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.